Blessings, soul travelers, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. You are joining Priestess Melissa. We are here this Sunday to get our reading, our forecast for the week ahead. Now, this is a very powerful week coming up. As you know, on August the 8th, the 88 portal opens up. So, this is major opportunity for us to step through this portal and radical change is the main thing that's coming through particularly with the full super moon in aquarius that's going to be coming up on the 11th all right so this coming week major major opportunity to be able to literally change everything if you are ready to radically do so all right so we're going to see what the offset Egyptian Oracle cards have to say for us for this week. What is the main energy that we need to be focused on, right? So we can be poised, so we can have the knowledge and the answers, all right, that we need moving forward this week. It's going to be very important for us, all right? I just want to thank all of the uh, people that have been having these wonderful conversations with in the comments. Uh, my Pisces reading particularly, guys, you may want to check that out if you have Pisces reading. I uh, got a lot of views, over 200 going on, 300 at this point. Um, so there may be a message in there for you. Well, for this reading, though, we're going to get uh, some tarot cards around our oracle card that we get from the Asset Egyptian oracle card for our forecast this week, tapping into the Lightseer's Tarot and then clarifying that with the Master Tarot. I have the Crazy Sexy Love Message cards out for a beautiful message or two moving forward for our week and through these portals and super moon energies also do stick around for your love message at the end with the lover's oracle card all right wonderful guys so let us set the uh energies and i just wanted to say i wanted to put a warning out there and i'll try to remind but do be aware when someone has a bell or a bowl or any kind of instrument that has a loud tone you will want to turn your volume down a little bit at least during this particular part all right and i'll try not to be so loud when i hit it as well so thank you this the reason i do this by the way is this is a spiritual aspect of setting sacred space before you do readings and so i like to do that in front of you to show you that i'm setting that space and i'm going to be uh, more cognizant of also closing that circle while i have you on camera as well it'll be a quick process just like it is when i do this so turn your volume down if you need to all right thank you to the angels ancestors way showers and guides we honor you and thank you all set for our messages moving forth for this week take a couple of nice slow deep breaths and relax beautiful all right guys let's see what is going on in the cards for us for this upcoming week do check out your weekly zodiac readings which i did last week uh, for the upcoming portal all right because i may not get your weekly readings out before the next portal ensues but i think i may be able to you just never know we just have to see what kind of, i may be doing it during those energies so that will be very important we'll see what comes out for you guys all right and thank you to all of you for your likes comments shares do subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the readings let's see what all set has to say for the collective for our week ahead what is the forecast and what do we need to be focused on on set show us oh that was a lot that wanted to come out right there nothing yet though let's shuffle again all set show us what we need to know thank you I'm getting that this is really the time not to hold back any longer, to really allow yourself to move forward. Yes, the aunt. The aunt coming out. Now look at this, first of all. This is all like the holy cross, if you will, of the Egyptians, all right? This is all about having that centeredness within yourself it's it's just like a cross except we have this almost halo type of energy on the head here now what's really being emphasized with this card is very um 
it makes sense, if you will, because we are moving forward into this Lionsgate portal. And what colors do you see here? But orange and yellow. So these are going to be the energy centers that are going to be very vital for you to keep high vibing, if you will. Work on these. Clear these out. Um, really focus on your energy being high vibe, you know, exercise, dance, you know, different things like that, that, uh, and be aware of the food you're eating as well. That will give you more energy, you know, your living foods. I mean, I, I can tell you a lot of that based on folk medicine and just what I know about natural health, but all of these are going to help with your life force energy is what I mean to say cumulatively, all right, to help build that energy as you're moving through the, the portal as well as the uh, super full moon energies because I'm telling you, you're going to need to be as grounded as possible. The energies are going to be very high as you can see here. It's going to be very important for you to be balanced, all right, look at the all of the uh, hieroglyphics on here and the eye, of course, in the middle. On my back, I have the eye of Horus, I have the Ankh, and I have the wings of Mott. Um, yeah, so follow me on Facebook or Instagram and you'll be able to see uh, that picture, but it is a beautiful uh, tattoo that I have and I'm very proud of it. I love it. It is like my eye of protection on my back, watching my back. All right, so this is the number two card and this really is about, again, radical change. Choosing you is what I was hearing today, all right? Allowing that fire to burn for you, not for anybody else at this point in time. It's not about um, being focused on other people as we go through this portal is what I was hearing spirit saying. Um, this is a time that we really need to be autonomous in the sense that we came into this world alone and we're going to leave alone. So we really need to be focused on where our energy is independently, right? And of course we want other people to be good too, but that really is on them. And so we have to know that everybody is going to have to step up to their own plates and be willing to, you know, temper their energies and, and be able to know more so how to, you know, move through the different states. And that's exactly what I teach at happymediumhypnosis.com. I've got a wonderful program that's going to be coming out um, that I'm developing. It does take time to do all of that. But trust me when I say, you know, I'm almost 50 years old and I've been through a lot in my life, guys. I'll be sharing more of that with you um, as I go through this journey of developing and bringing this program forward. But just know that you can be happy in your life. It, you don't have to be uh, a product of, you know, the pain and trauma that others may have tried to put on you. Don't hold that energy in, you know, allow yourself to heal and to really burst forward through this portal so that you can be able to create in your life the way you really want to, right? So the um, energy healing, so very important. Now, do you know that if you do need some energy healing and you do want to be ready for this portal, I am a Reiki master teacher. You can also book with me at venusianways.org. Reach out to me. We can set up a session for you so that you can be prepared, all right? Um, yeah, absolutely. So let's read the energy of this card coming through today. Enough about all of my channeling there. <laughs> I guess that's what this is all about though, right? So I do hope that you've received something within that, definitely. It is a time of preparedness and for being able to hold our energy, you know, not be affected by other people and things, but to be able to hold our own energies right at this time. The Ankh is the, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't speak. The Ankh is the symbol of life force energy and has the ability to transmit and create life. The Egyptian gods and goddesses are often seen carrying the Ankh in their hands as a symbol of their spiritual powers and their ability to transmit it to humans. Yes, no wonder I got the Ankh on my back and this was probably about almost four years ago now. But yeah, after I went through something very traumatic, I felt it was important for me to take my power back. And this was one of the ways that I did it. It is seen often in hieroglyphic inscriptions and worn as a protective amulet. Absolutely. 
channeled message from the spirit of Ankh. There is an abundance of healing energy for us all if we know how to access it. The gods and goddesses were waiting to transmit healing energy to you during meditation or through the hands of a spiritual healer specifically gifted by me. Interesting. So definitely get some of this healing in place if you know somebody. Um, I feel like you may be if this message is calling to you, definitely heed the calling and get it in place. No matter how you do that, if you do it yourself, you know, you can channel the energy if you know how to. All right. So I just want you to be aware that, um, you know, I, I feel Anubis coming through today as well. And some of you may connect with him, but he is a protector. You can call on him you know, and the guides that, especially, you know, Egyptian gods and goddesses, uh, that you may want to protect you at this time as you're moving through uh, these energies, all right? So here is the forecast for this card for this week, so we can be most empowered. For abundance, it says an abundance of money for all your needs is coming soon. Stay the course, all right? Go through this portal with your energy as high as possible, thinking the most positive thoughts so that as you come through the other side, even if it's not in your hands right away, don't worry, it is coming. For love, a special relationship is coming. Enhance your marriage with sacred sex. Yes, you always want to ensure that whoever you're connecting with, especially in these ways, are in the most sacred of ways, all right? Sex is not something to be played with, and people can manipulate this um, store, this powerhouse, you know? Yes, absolutely, especially within women. This is your power, all right? And you got to be very selective, but we all should be in truth about the key <laughs> about who, what key we let into our lock and unlock our treasures. You know what I mean? I was really hearing that today, especially for women, but men do protect yourself as well. And abstain would maybe even be the best course of action right now is what I would say. For work and career, fresh opportunities. Consider modifying energy healing, excuse me, consider studying energy healing as you have the ability to become a powerful healer. The way that you would know this especially is if you, are you somebody who gets like a strong energy in your hands, like you can just feel your hands tingling at times or getting warm, that kind of thing. You indeed could be an energy healer. That is one of the signs because you can feel that energy building up in your hands as you are focusing and drawing it in, right? For travel, indicates travel to sacred power places. Most travel to new locations should be safe. So especially if you're going somewhere, you know, focused on energy healing, you know, or a retreat of some sort, especially around the super full moon that's coming up in Aquarius, right? Sturgeon, uh, the, and that moon talks all about, you know, being brave and, and taking a leap of faith and, and doing things drastically different. You definitely may be very well be, you know, following that thread right now and feeling that energy. So follow that and keep going. All right. You are the key. You, you're discovering the key is what I heard. For health, problems will be resolved. Energy healing would resolve the situation faster. So if you need Reiki healing, guys, or even if you just want me as a priestess to call in um, energy healing for you or, you know, angels to surround you, a prayer for you, donate to my channel. I'll be happy to put a prayer out for you. Or you can speak with me about a specific one if you need to. All right. So for family, pregnancy and childbirth is indicated for you or your family and new harmony and happiness in the home. Beautiful. And a lot of that is because you are balanced. 1414, 14, I just saw on the timer. That angel number may be significant for you. Look it up if you feel inclined to. But yes, it is all about your balance. And as you're balanced and you maintain your uh, energy, you know, 
in whatever state that you prefer. And the more that you play with this, the more that you'll be able to control it, you know, control you, if you will. <laughs> so for the future, positive changes are coming. The flow should continue over the next five months. Yes, beautiful. So this is a time moving through this portal. You're going to want to be on your P's and Q's as far as your energy is concerned, is what I heard Spirit saying, because as you move through this portal, depending on how strong your energy is and how balanced you are, that next five months, wow, there is a lot of good coming through. So do be looking forward to that, especially if you are making the choice, right, to see that new perspective, to stay in that meditative and balanced space, you know, you're not uh, stuck, you know that you're not stuck, you know how to use the energies, especially like these upcoming ones, right, to your advantage, yeah, Ace of Wands energy, beautiful, yes, because your understanding, your third eye is awakening, that's what I always see with this Ace of Wands energy, usually that's the male phallic card, but maybe you could be, you know, suspecting something around uh, someone who could be, you know, sucking your energy or trying to drain your energy, I was hearing. Um, and if you have someone in your life that you're uh, sexually, you know, connected with at this time, that could absolutely be true. Eight of Pentacles. You've been putting in a lot of work is what I've been hearing spirits say. Um, keeping your energy high, focusing on your self-worth and value. 16, 16 coming up on the timer. Choosing you is what I heard spirits say. And this is what's bringing in so much abundance. And maybe that's what you have been seeing. And spirits saying, if you keep staying that path, more is going to keep coming in because you're no longer entertaining, you know, situations that have, you know, more or less where people have been around you that either have had that ability to or have stabbed you in the back. Like even if they didn't get close enough to, you know, be able to harm you um, physically or, you know, be able to, because this is how I feel like, nobody can really affect me like how I'm thinking confuse me and things of that nature if I'm really not connected with you to begin with so my thing is is be aware of who you're connecting with yeah none of these people who are not you know in the the emperor in reverse is definitely not running things the right way is all I'm going to say and this is not the kind of person that we want to deal with nor do we want to be right we don't want to be defensive anymore, you know, and at the same time, we're not going to, uh, what did I hear, entertain these karmic relationships anymore because all of that energy, you know, is what drains us, what keeps us from being able to feel motivated and being able to move forward, you know. We're over being confused. People, you know, just yap, yap, yapping in our ear all the time, right? does nothing but bring us down and then what does that result in queen of pentacles in reverse so you know that energy is like everything is like thrown off at the house so as soon as you turn your back on all of that chaos is what i heard spirit saying and you focused on what you needed to everything started coming in you know this is cycles you've been spending a lot of cycles every cycle you know all of your time if you will is being spent towards building your abundance and moving out of this energy where maybe you did have to deal with a lot of uh, people and especially an emperor perhaps stabbing you in the back and maybe that's what you're letting go of here moving into the future is what i'm seeing so ten of swords we're going to read here yeah hit the like button if you're resonating with this message or if you are just definitely sure that you're going to move through this cycle healed and you're ready for much better in your life all right and moving forward especially using powerful portals like this lion's gate one and super moons and aquarius right absolutely to get your mind right because aquarius is air energy and air is all about the mind right when you get your mind right which is what happy medium hypnosis is all about renew your mind change your world absolutely that's what happens so shadow seer for the ten of swords says resisting the inevitable not wanting to let go of negative emotions rock bottom a narrative rooted in lack 
and helplessness, devastating loss, recovery. And the energy of this card, which is so fitting for our energy healing card, you guys are going to love this. So this is an affirmation you can say this week with this card with for this energy healing. And again, I'm here to help you. Reach out, guys. HappyMediumHypnosis.com or VenusianWaves.org. I am healing every day. Simple. 2002, I just saw in the timer. I am healing every day. I am healing every day. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. This Lionsgate portal is an awesome opportunity for you to let go of what you need to, anything that may be controlling you. You know, that it doesn't have to be a male figure, but any control, people trying to control your time, your energy, trying to keep your focus off of where it needs to be so that you can be stable, so that you can be happy. Most of the time, all people want to do is with that Ten of Swords energy, with the, you know, mind energy, they just want to talk about problems, right? Who has time for that? Personally, I have so much to do in a given day, and I, the last thing I have really to be honest with you because it really is counterproductive it doesn't do any good right is listen first of all to people complaining about people i don't even know probably right eight of pentacles for the past energy eight of pentacles yeah king of wands in reverse i feel like this king of wands energy is either your energy you know I do feel like this is somebody who is trying to affect your energy, but I feel it was somebody who was sleeping around, honestly. Um, if you're a female, you probably had this male that you were dealing with, and while you're busy at work is what I was hearing. They're out, you know, gallivanting and having a good old time when they're supposed to be holding it down at home, right? That's what I was hearing. Well, let's see what's on the bottom here. <laughs> Absolutely, Ten of Swords. That absolutely is telling me that that King of Swords or King of Wands energy could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you were dealing with was, was definitely having an effect on your energy, on your sexual, your creative energy, your power, you know, your ability to feel successful. Absolutely. But you are over that. That is beautiful to see. Six of Wands with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You, my dear, are taking your power back. No more injustice. Spirit is saying it's over if you choose for it to be 2222 with the two of the aunt coming up on the screen just then. The emperor in reverse. This is a decision we're making. Oh yes, somebody has definitely freed themselves and they are single, abundant, and loving life now that they put this controlling emperor, whatever this controlling person was, not allowing them to yap 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 in your head anymore telling you things that weren't true right try to make it seem like that they knew more than you yeah well you know better than them queen of cups absolutely you could absolutely be a uh cancer pisces or scorpio tower yes love came into the situation and you know there just wasn't love here so guess what we had to bring an end to this, and if you didn't, Spirit was going to, but you know, you saw what was going on, or you do see what's going on, and you are going to ensure that you love you, and that's exactly what you should do. <laughs> and here's your message. I invite your fears to tea. You may, you know, be fearful about this new move forward, moving through this portal, big changes. Who isn't, right? Because it does, mean that you are literally changing yourself as a result and it does mean that something has to go as a result a part of yourself you know that has been there for a while and you know even if it wasn't one of the best parts of yourself it's not saying goodbye to it totally because i mean it's you but it's saying hey you know we can't keep on doing things this way, you know, you, you have to say that to people as well as yourself, you know, when you're allowing things that you shouldn't, right? Hit the like button on that one. 
Fears aren't facts. Often they're just scary thoughts or feelings, right? So we need to get out of our head and get out of our heart in the sense of those negative emotions and thoughts that we may be discontinuing to feed into, right? It's time to use our power in better ways to heal at this time. So instead of judging your fears, invite them to tea. Offer them a cookie and have a chat. Listen to what they have to say. Psychology, you know, that's just basic psychology. Even if you don't talk to somebody else, talk to yourself. Talk out loud as if you're talking to someone. It's the same thing in a sense, you know. It will allow you to vent. It will allow you to get it out and acknowledge it. That's what's important. You can get to, you know, the healing aspect much quicker and not necessarily have to have the other person around or everything to be perfect for it to heal, all right? It can heal magically just because you say so. <laughs> so listen to what they have to say. And when, when we are courageous enough to be with what scares us, we receive powerful wisdom. Lots of power coming through, right? So sit with what you fear and don't be afraid, right? It's time to rise, Spirit's saying. You're meant for much more than what you've experienced up until this point. And I feel many of you are ready to experience much more. So yeah, invite your fears to tea, right? Because the tea is the things that you're really scared of for the most part, really aren't anything that will likely come to pass or can do, have any harm or effect on you at this point any longer. And love for you today. Oh, what a beautiful card. I love it. Are you ready for freedom? Hit the like button if you're ready to take your power back, beautiful soul travelers, because this card says, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear. If you want it to be, wow, are you ready? The path is clear. All you have to do is walk through this door, this gateway. It's ready for you. The portal is ready to take you on the other side, right, to your abundance. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and check out another video. Until next time, bye for now. And I close this circle. Thank you, Infinite Spirit.